Oh, we'll walk around the compound once again. Oh, once again. Yes, we'll walk around the compound once again. Oh, once again. Yes, it's time to see some cats. Grab a blanket and some snacks. Oh, we'll walk around the compound once again. All right. Oh. Oh. Peek around the corner right there. Just at the right time, Allie. Hi. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. I was just trying to get some stuff with Arch because right before I hit record, he was looking. He was looking this way. And as I was walking up, I noticed that Allie was over by the uh, entryway to that other house. Looking inside, chewing on some of the food that was uh, given to her yesterday. So I'm like, all right, well, she's preoccupied over there, and Archie's looking over here. Let's go ahead, start with him. But he plops his head down, looks away, and then she pops around the corner, and it's like, oh, man, cats, right? He's got a new little kind of platform thing. He's got a new little platform. A platform and a rock. It's a rock platform because he's old because him's old and he's having a he's having a hard time getting up and down on and off stuff but with that it's easier it's better you know different little things to help different little things to just kind of help the old timers get around that's like, uh, you know, it's just going over to Grandpa's house and installing like a railing, you know, next to the toilet. It's just, it's helpful. He can still live on his own, but now you don't worry so much, you know, when he's, when he's on his own. So there you go. Same concept. All right. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi. Well, hello. Ezra, are you saying words? Are you saying tiger words? Ez. Ezra. Choo choo. Ezra, choo. Ezra Chu! Sorry, Jeremy. You just can't compete. You cannot compete with the Dorps train. Hi. Ezra Chu. Ezra Chu. Yeah. Ezra, Ezra, Ezra. Um. I don't know if this is, is it a thing, is it a thing that roosters do, is it a thing that they do when they know, when they hear external stimuli? Because walking out this way, I don't remember hearing them. I don't remember hearing them yakking, doing the cock doodle doo stuff. But, now, that... He's been hearing me kind of chat, do some casts. Well, he starts doing that. What's up with that? He's, he's, <laughs> he's just peeking over the top. He's peeking over the top. May I be up here? May I be a part of your cast, please? May I be a part of your cast, please? I am Kevin. I am a rooster. And then I'm just like, Kevin, do I have a choice? It's like, no, you do not. <laughs> then, see, then why do, why do you even ask me? It's like, I just want to give the illusion that I'm trying to be a team player, that, uh, you know, I'm bringing in other other folks into production discussions. Oh, look at this guy. I mean, blech, yuck, gross. He's making a peepee. -pee. Boom boom and a peepee. -pee. Yep. 
it's like he's synchronizing. I don't know if he knows his P sprays were synchronized with his breathing. And one and two and psst, and psst, and psst. that was something. That was something. I'm not gonna sit there and say that that takes like a lot of talent, but to put it out there like that, it does take a certain kind of a chutzpah, I guess you could say. Okay. Hi, baby girl. Hi, me to Peter. Hi, me to Peter. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. I really believe in your vision for the future, Melita. And I love hearing your messages. Bim bim. Bim bim. Bim bim. Bim bim. Bim bim. Bim bim. See, we had just a ton of rain. Um, near the end of, you know, last week. Or we just had a ton of rain just within last week. Ton. Bunches and bunches of rain. And we're finally, we're finally just starting to kind of dry out. There's still some moist spots. There's still some puddly spots here and there. But we're finally, finally starting to dry out. And wouldn't you know it, we've got... More stuff, more rain, more things coming. Tomorrow, the next day, and I think the day after that. Ah! Just give it a rest. Come on. Mother Nature. Man. What are you, what are you doing? The. I suppose if that's like the worst things, if that's kind of what I'm complaining about, then, you know, got to keep that in perspective. Then things aren't so bad. Then things ain't too shabby. If like one of the things I'm just sitting there thinking about is like, eh, paddles. <laughs> then, you know, doing all right. We're doing all right. We got some, we got a, we got a few extra bleps, it seems like. A few extra bleps. And I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. More bleps. More bleps, more the time, more the time, more, more bleps, more the time. Well, that just doesn't sound very smart. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're over there butchering. And you got fed yesterday, so you shouldn't even be like too concerned about like what's going on with the tractor. So I don't know what this all is all about. This enhanced uh, directional attention, but. Oh well. Oh well. We don't got a lot that we're. We don't got a lot that I'm thinking of. So, not a whole lot that I feel like I need to say. Yeah. Where's this? There he is. There's this guy. Here's this guy. Hello. Would you like to come over and say hello? Watched Die Hard last night.
I, meaning I fell asleep to Die Hard because it's I like it's great to fall asleep to just good familiar movies. You can just put them on and then you've I've seen the movie so many times. I'm talking about the first one. I've seen the movie so many times where it's you can just have it on and then um you know, you can just kind of go to sleep to it. It's a classic. It's a classic. There's some great classic movies. Another one that I was... And it's weird, it's like some... Oh my gosh. My gosh, hello. Isn't it weird sometimes also... And I will say like comedies. And classic comedies. Like sometimes I'll watch a classic comedy kind of thing. One that I love... Maybe like Caddy, like Caddyshack might be my favorite. I guess you could say like you know classic comedy. Probably my favorite. But there's times where it's like I'll watch it, and I'm like, I just acknowledge I'm like yeah, yeah that's funny. And then there's other times where I'm watching it, and I don't know depending on the mood that I'm in, where it's like I'm even though I've seen it a bunch of times and I know the punchlines and I know the references and I know what's going to be coming, like I'm laughing. Isn't that weird? Like, sometimes how it's like the... You just have, like, the mood. You'll have, like, a different mood. And it kind of affects whether or not, like... You have, like, the... Certain types of responses. You know, I'm just in that... I'm just in that laugh vibe, bro. I'm just in that laugh vibe. And I say that because... Um, I was watching another and this is the other thing it's like a lot of times like you're i would i've noticed that my appreciation my appreciation for certain movies maybe it, it changes like it changes as i age there's certain things that maybe i didn't think uh were as funny that i now think are just like hilarious like i remember like i've seen as a, as a younger adult I, I remember watching The Jerk. And I was sitting there thinking, like, this is this is fine. This is, a, this is a good movie. This is a fun movie. It's a funny movie. Great movie. Good, funny, solid movie. There you go. Steve Martin. And then I watched it again. Maybe, like, three or four days ago. I was, I was like, I was almost peeing my pants. And again, it's like... <laughs> I've seen this movie, like, I've seen this movie a bunch of times. I hadn't seen it in a bit, so I'm just like, oh my gosh, yeah, let's watch that. And I'm just like, this is, like, I remember these scenes, I remember these references, but for some reason, it's like, it means, it maybe it's like your different life experiences paint, um, and like, maybe it's like your understanding of certain kind of contexts and certain types of the, the, or the, the, the context of certain types of situations. You just kind of, you have a better handle on that maybe as you get older so certain references are just going to they're going to have a different flavor for you at different periods in your life and for some reason <laughs> having not seen the jerk in a long time maybe not necessarily a long time but a decent amount of time having not seen it and then rewatching it it's like i i was there was i was seeing it in in a new light, in a lot of ways, I'm like, this, this movie is genius. This movie is so good. It's so, so good. I was, yeah. It was weird. Like I said, it's like, I've, I was, it was like rediscovering it. And just finding this new, like, sense of appreciation for it. I guess that's also another thing. There's certain times where it's like, maybe... And maybe maybe the younger version of myself were, was seeing some of the overtly silly. Maybe I was seeing some of the overtly silly aspects of that movie and just taking it so much for face value. And just being like, oh, okay, well, and this just... And just also thinking like, well, this just kind of harkens... It goes... It harkens back to a... 
to a certain time and it's just like all right well this is kind of what people this is what you know before before people got more modern and sophisticated this is kind of what people were thinking was funny and i i can recognize the the, the humor in it but of course i come from a more modern and more sophisticated time maybe that's a part of it i don't know but then it's like the the i start to see part of it is i think it's like you start to see there was like a lot there's a lot of different kind of like subtleties to the, the silliness there's a lot of subtleties to the silliness that was happening in that movie and i'm like things that maybe i just i just was not picking up on and also uh i think part of it is also when you get older like you stop getting inside your own you stop getting in your own way as much and then sometimes you don't sit there and even if things are just like silly at face value you're just like I'm perfectly fine with this and this is fine this is great this is I'm actually very I'm very much so in appreciation of what is happening right now and I don't I don't have to sit there and take you know myself and my tastes so seriously kind of thing maybe I've always liked silly things I've always liked silly things but for some reason that that one like that movie maybe kind of there was times where it seemed to fall flat when I was younger, and now for some reason it like hits. <laughs> you know, it's weird. It's weird how that worked. Like, uh, like the Three Stooges. I like. I have a much deeper appreciation for uh, Three Stooges like now. And I, I've loved them. My mom, my mom was a huge, huge Three Stooges fan. My mom got me into Three Stooges and I Love Lucy. We used to watch uh, Three Stooges and I Love Lucy uh, a lot. You know, used to watch Mary Tyler Moore. Uh, Carol Burnett used to watch a lot of... Oh, she's pooping. <laughs> Sorry, Ross. <laughs> a lot of classic... She introduced me to a lot of classic, and I had I, I have a very strong appreciation for um, some of those older older shows. And it's like I go back, and especially the Three Stooges, I go back, and I'm just like, this is the this is a work of art. This is these these three the three original. And look, and I Shemp Shemp was good. I'm not going to say Shemp was bad. Shemp was good, and he had to fill in for kind of a difficult circumstance. I don't know if you knew this, but uh, Curly. Uh, the guy that played Curly uh, had a pretty bad stroke, so that's why Shemp had to come in. But all the other ones, the like Curly Joe, like, ugh, yuck. Those other ones, new thank you. It's like, I'll allow, I will, I'll accept Shemp. I will accept Shemp. But that's it. I don't go past Shemp. You get that other stuff out of here. But, um, yeah, going back and looking at some of those original, the original trilogy episodes, like, oh my gosh. Again, there's more happening than just the silly. Like you look at some of these weird little throwaway lines, and some of the stuff is super smart. It's hilarious some of the things that they do, and there's there's interesting and funny and kind of smart references inside of just this like rampant silliness. Ooh, hi, Ooh, hi, sugar pie, hi, hi, baby. So yeah. Something about that. Something about those types of things. Are there any... Oh, let me let me put the question off to you. Are there any... It doesn't even have to be comedy. It doesn't even have to be comedy. But let me... Like, I would like to hear... Were there any things... Any medium... Whether it be books, movies, TV shows, video games... Anything like that. That maybe you played or watched or read as a younger version of yourself and you're like eh, okay whatever and then you kind of came back to it as a more kind of cultured and mature version an older version of yourself and then you found out like oh my gosh there was a ton of stuff that i had missed now i'm not talking about like oh well i watched this pixar movie when i was a kid and there were so many grown-up jokes that i just like whoo over my head and i'm not talking about that I'm talking about more of the subtlety, like things that you wouldn't have appreciated when you were young, but it's like now that you have a more mature sensibility that you just like, you know what, this is, I actually like this. Whereas maybe I didn't, I didn't appreciate it as much as I could have. 
I, in those yes, in those yester your days. There he is. There he is. Hi. He's got crinkle nose. He's got a crinkle nose. He's got a crinkle nose. Hi. Hello. That's Lack. That's Lack. What's the matter? You got a crinkle nose? You got the crinkliest of... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. We're going to go ahead and shut this man. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right. Anyway. Fun times. Fun, fun topic of discussion. I'm going to go and film a fancy cast now. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. So, thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. And I'll see you folks next time. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, there's a cat, cat that loves to squeak. Oh, there's a cat, cat. Stripes and there are cats with manes, so let's watch as Derek walks around the compound tonight. Yeah.